a beautiful day. It's been a while since I've been on the motorcycle. Well, on this motorcycle, it's a gorgeous day today. So today I'm going to be doing an install video. So um, let's get into it. All right. Black with smoke lens. Smoke lens. Black with smoke lens. Smoke lens. Smoke lens. All the lights that I put on this motorcycle is black with smoke lens. I've taken off reflectors on the bike and replaced it with lights. Everything flows because it's black with smoke lens. Until we get to this. If only someone made something that I could take that ugly orange reflector off the front and replace it with a smoke lens and maybe even make it a turn signal. Let me quit playing. Let's get into the video. Okay, so today we're gonna to be installing the new Custom Dynamics front fork LED lights. But first we're gonna get the turn signal removed. So we're gonna grab a half inch socket and take off the turn signal. And you wanna do that on both sides. So now that the turn signal's removed, we're gonna disconnect them from the motorcycle and lay the turn signals aside. The next step is removing the windshield by removing the three T27 Torx screws. With the three Torx screws removed, now you can pull out the windshield. Make sure you hold on to the center Torx screw because you're going to need it in just a second. Replace the center Torx screw to hold the outer fairing into place while you remove the four inner fairing Torx screws. Make sure that you have a good hold on the outer fairing to remove the center torque screw. Carefully tilt the fairing away from the motorcycle. With the fairing slightly pulled away, now disconnect the headlight from the motorcycle. Take one of the wiring harnesses that was provided in the fork lights LED packet. Take the wiring harnesses male connector and insert it into the female connector where the turn signal was removed. Now run your wires and connectors through the hole but make sure you leave out the blue, black, white, and yellow wire to connect your turn signal to. Connect the blue, black, white, and yellow connector to your turn signal and attach your turn signal back to the motorcycle. Okay, so now we're gonna take the left side two pin connector and plug it in to the right side two pin connector. On the motorcycle, located on the lower left side of the vent, Disconnect the two pin connector. Take our black two pin connector from the wiring harness and connect it to the two pin connector of the motorcycle that's located at the lower left side of the vent. Now we're going to take the other half of the two pin connector that we disconnected from the motorcycle and connect it to the white two pin connector of the wiring harness. Use the provided wire ties to manage the excess wires. Now it's time to remove the front reflector. I'm using tape to mark the position of the reflectors so when I replace them with the new fork lights, they'll be in the right position. This comes off. So let's get that cleaned up. We'll get this cleaned up of all the glue and running out the back end of it. So it goes on just like this. And once we put it on, Believe me, it's stuck on, so we gotta be super careful with our placing. Did you like this, or do you like that? That is gonna be a night and day difference. All right, looks so much cleaner, so much nicer. Run the wire from your fork light up to the turn signal wire and harness. Follow the same route as the brake cable. Connect the left side fork light to the left wiring harness and connect the right side fork light to the right wiring harness. So I'm going to get this other side wired up and put the outer fairing back on and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so I just got finished with the install and I want to show you what it looks like. By the way, I'm here right there, it's the Tennessee River behind me. That is the Thompson Bowling Arena. That's where the Tennessee Vols basketball team plays. Nayland Stadium. 
where the Tennessee Volunteers football team plays. So now let me show you the finished results of the street glide. I think it looks great without that ugly orange reflector on it. Let me show it to you, here we go. You can see the reflector is gone. Now you have a nice smoke lens there that matches the rest of the motorcycle. Now I have the bike turned off and I'm going to turn it on for you, but I want to let you see what it looks like with the bike off. It's just as important to me that the bike looks good with the lights turned off, if that makes any sense. So here's the back of my motorcycle. This is what it looks like. You probably, you probably never seen it with the lights off before, but that's what the back of my motorcycle looks like with the lights off. You can see the lenses, but it's barely noticeable. And I want to make sure the bike always looks good, even with the lights off. I took the reflectors off the saddlebags, and now I took the reflector off the front forks, and everything is smoked. No more reflectors on the bike. The bike looks great because there was reflectors on the back, that one reflector, and then reflector on saddlebags, and reflector on the front fork, and now everything is a Custom Dynamics LED light. Now, I'm going to turn it on. It's extremely bright out here right now, and then I'm going to move over there to the shade, and I'll show you what it looks like in the shade, too. So that's what they look like when the bike is on. Uh, let me show you what it looks like with the turn signal on. So that's what it looks like there. So you can see it in the daylight. Really, really bright LEDs. Okay, so now we moved over to the shade and let me show you what it looks like in the shade. There you go. So that's what it looks like. And imagine how bright it is at nighttime. I mean, it's extremely bright. Let's turn the turn signal on. It didn't take that long to install them. Maybe 45 minutes at the most. Again, I think it looks great. It enhances the side visibility of the motorcycle. If you would like some fork lights for yourself, go to customdynamics.com or give them a call. Again, I want to thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day.